Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Lancelot, and this is the guide that you need to watch to unlock the new exotic glaive, Vexcalibur. The first step you'll have to do is a secret step in which you'll go to the Gulch and collect six access codes, which look like little Vex cubes. I'll have the locations playing on screen right now so you can follow my loop. Note that you only have 30 seconds after you pick up one to get another, or your sequence will time out, so make sure you're following this loop and moving quick. Another quick little note is down on the left side of your screen while you're collecting these, it will show you how many out of six you currently have. Once you have all six, look up and you'll see a Vex portal. It'll spawn above a cave that you'll have to enter to get to the launch point for the mission. Once you load into the mission, your new objective will be to explore the Vex network node in the EDZ and discover its secrets. Now all you have to do is follow the path until you get to a room with two walls that you can go under the center of. Once you go under, turn around and climb up to the top left to activate a button. Once you activate this button, it'll give you the message substrate authorization requirement nullified. I'm showing you this now so you know where it's at, but it will make sense later towards the end of the video. Once you've hit the button, follow the path down the little Vex streams to the lowest point in the area, and you'll see a small room blocked by Vex walls if you activated the first button. We'll come back to this later. For now, just drop below that, and you'll see a small gap in the wall. Follow this path until you reach the next area. Once you get to the new area, you're gonna have a small little mechanic you're gonna have to follow. All you have to do is go to the spire in the middle and shoot the symbols that pop up around it every few seconds. In order to know the order of the symbols, you have to shoot them in. Look around the room for sets of these symbols. You'll see them stacked above each other. All you have to do is shoot the symbols in order from top to bottom three times and that'll clear the spire and let you move on. You'll know you've done the correct sequence once you get an audible cue and then the spire disappears. You'll have to do this for two different rooms and then just keep following the path and killing some ads until you get launched up to the next arena area where you'll face the first mini boss. This is a restricted zone so try to make sure you're staying alive here. This area is going to play a lot like Gambit. You're going to kill enemies, bank the required amount of moats. It tells you to on screen and then once the bank is full the middle area that's blocked by a vex wall will open up and you can fall into the hole make sure you get into this hole before the timer reaches zero as you will get killed if you're not rinse and repeat that step one more time and then it's damage phase after damage phase you'll have to kill all the vex in the area and then do the same process twice again killing enemies banking moats and that will get you into the second damage phase once that mini boss is defeated follow the path again until you get to the rally flag point this is going to begin the main boss fight for his first phase all you have to do is take out a third of his health pretty simple use your supers use your heavy all you gotta do is knock out that first third of health once you beat that first phase follow the teleporter go to the next zone in this area you're gonna have to use the same spire mechanic from before you can find the code for this one underneath the floor you'll be able to see through once you find that complete the spire and then you can damage for the second phase once you beat that phase follow the teleporter into the third area here there is no mechanic just a damage phase and once you defeat him you'll get the next step of the quest which is to go to the war table at the helm at the war table you're gonna unlock vex Excalibur and the Vex Calibur authorization override quest. To complete this quest, all you have to do is defeat Vex with the weapon. The quickest way to do this, in my opinion, is to head to Liming Harbor where a bunch of Vex spawn on the Amuna or to Nessus and do the Vex Lost Sector. Quick note here, make sure you're firing the weapon, not just using the melee, firing the weapon grants progression much faster. Once you've gotten enough kills with it, which will not take long, you will unlock the Authorization Override mod, and step two is to equip that mod onto the glaive. After you equip it, step three is to return to the war table, which will complete the quest, unlocking you a Defiant Weapon Engram and a Triumph. Now that you have the weapon unlocked and the mod on, reload into the Avalon mission to get the secret loot. Once you're in the mission, make sure you have Vex Calibur equipped and then head back to that first button we activated back at the start of the video. Activate it and head back to the lowest point where you would normally progress, but instead jump up to that walled off room. Take out your glaive, hold ADS to bring up the glaive shield, and this will let you through the wall. Once you get through the wall, activate the button in there and it'll spawn a chest for you to loot. Now you can only loot this chest once per character, and I kind of think with each week we're going to progress more that'll be unlockable for the glaive and for the secret loot chest, so I'll make sure I update videos moving forward every time we discover a new one of these. But guys, that's all you have to do to unlock the new exotic glaive vex caliber you can get it done easily in under an hour if you have a fire team with you i'm really looking forward to whatever secrets this may hold and i'll make sure again i update videos anytime we learn something new if this video helped you drop a like and leave a comment so more people can see it and unlock the weapon for themselves and thank you so much for watching if you want to see more content like this and keep up with the new destiny 2 season hit subscribe while you're here and as always i will see you in the next one